Hey New Prospect family and everybody else watching. Uh, it's Pastor Drew here with PTB 2022 for January 11th. Uh, really enjoyed uh, praying together this week, so let's jump right in. Let's pray together. Father God, thank you so much for this day, this beautiful day we've got today to worship you, to praise you, to pray to you, to be in re uh, relationship with you, uh, Father. And we're so thankful as we read uh, these amazing uh, readings in Scripture today, and I think of Abram and your call and your your covenant with him, this promise to him. And Lord, I'm thankful you're a promise making God, and I'm thankful you're a promise keeping God. As we'll as we'll read further on throughout Genesis, we'll just see you over and over and over again. Uh, keep this promise to Abraham, uh, who was known as Abram at the time. Lord, I'm thankful for his obedience. Lord, I I think of uh, people in my life that. Um, Father, I'm, I'm who I am today because of their obedience and their uh, willingness to, uh, to obey and, and the sacrifices they made in the past, Father, had an impact on my life today. And so all of us today here uh, are kind of recipients of Abram's obedience uh, because he said yes and he went and uh, you fulfilled all those promises to him. And so what, a, what an amazing testimony for us as we um, remember that, and we, we think about you as a covenant-making, a covenant-keeping God, and, and, and how you chose to use him and his family and, and the call. And, and Lord, as we uh, step into the book of Nehemiah today in our readings, you know, I think of, of how you, you used Nehemiah and the, all the people to rebuild that wall and and the, how fast it came together because they were, you know, they were of one mind and one purpose and they uh, believed in the mission to rebuild this wall and, and the people built the sections of the wall in front of their home. And uh, it just, what a beautiful picture of community. And Lord, so I'm thankful for the church, this group of people that, that Peter referred to as living stones being built um, into this great thing called the church. And uh, Lord, we're, we're growing and we're changing, and and uh, Lord, I, I'm thankful you choose to use us, Father. Again, that, that sense of calling. Father, we're thankful that you've called every single one of us into the ministry of reconciliation, and we get to uh, plea on your behalf for people to be made right with God, and uh, what, a, what an amazing privilege that is. And so, Lord, as I reflect upon our readings today, I think about obedience, Lord. I, I think about those in our church that have taken such great steps of obedience and we're seeing them do great things for the Lord. Father, I'm praying for those that that you're nudging and you're calling and you're you're making ready for something and maybe they just haven't taken that step yet. Lord, I pray you help us as a church family rally around them and spur them on to whatever you're calling them to do. Lord, we pray, uh, Lord, that we understand that, that this calling does have a direct impact on us, our obedience, but Lord, there's also people uh, in the future that, that we may not even know yet that our obedience today can have an impact on for generations. And what a what an amazing thought that is. So Lord, I pray we'd be known as a church, as, as living stones building up this church, Lord, as people who are obedient, who are, are covenant faithful, this covenant community of faith that you built here at New Prospect. And Father, we pray we'd be uh, people that are known as uh, those who, who live together in community, we work together, we work hard together, uh, we put our minds to whatever task you've put before us and that um, we get that, that done, no matter what stands in the way and discouragements that come, uh, Father, in one mind, one passion, one mission to see uh, lives change for the gospel. So Lord, we pray you do that and we'd be obedient to respond. Lord, we love you. We thank you above all for your son, Jesus, who was obedient himself, the ultimate example of obedience that went all the way to the cross uh, for us. Uh, Lord, we're thankful for that and the salvation that he provides. Lord, we love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, New Prospect family, hope you have a blessed rest of your day or you've had a good day whenever time you're watching this, but God bless you. And if you need us uh, for anything, don't hesitate to call us at the church office and we'll serve you in any way we can. God bless. Have a great uh, day, New Prospect.